U.S. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin left New Delhi a short while back, winding up a two-day visit to India. With an eye on China, the visit was aimed at strengthening bilateral defense cooperation with India. The high-stakes visit came just weeks before Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to the United States. The occasion demands a thorough analysis of the deepening India-US strategic cooperation. But first, let's take a look at Austin's India visit. What all happened here? Austin met with his Indian counterpart, Defence Minister Rajnath Singh, and National Security Advisor of India, Ajit Doval. A range of regional security issues were discussed in these meetings. A new roadmap for US-India defence industrial cooperation was agreed upon. The agreement will fast-track technology cooperation and co-production in areas such as air combat and land mobility systems. The visit also saw establishment of the India-US Defence Acceleration Ecosystem, which has been acronymed as INDUS-X. It is a new initiative to advance cutting-edge technology cooperation. The initiative is designed to complement existing government-to-government -government collaborations by promoting partnerships between private firms in the two countries. Now, under INDEC, under Indus X, India and the US are reportedly exploring the possibility of co-producing jet engines, long-range artillery and infantry vehicles. Austin stressed, however, that he was not trying to establish a NATO in Indo-Pacific, something that China has been frowning upon. The deepening partnership is also aimed at establishing India's leading role as a security provider in the Indo-Pacific. Now, with an eye on China, US and India have been deepening their defense cooperation in recent years, or rather US has been trying to cozy up to India in the recent years. In June of 2016, the US designated India a major defense partner, paving the way for sharing of critical military equipment and technology. The two countries have inked key defense and security pacts over the past few years. Let's go over those one by one. These include LEMOA or the Logistics Exchange Memorandum of Agreement in 2016. The agreement allows the two militaries to use each other's bases for repair and replenishment of supplies. The two sides also signed COMCASA or the Communications Compatibility and Security Agreement in 2018. COMCASA provides for interoperability between the two militaries and provides for the sale of high-end technologies from the US to India. Finally, with the Basic Exchange and Cooperation Agreement in 2020, U.S. signed all three so-called foundational defense agreements with India. So the common security threat to both the nations, being China, has grown more and more belligerent in recent times. U.S. and China have locked horns over a range of issues from trade to Taiwan. At the same time, India's long-standing border disputes with China have taken the form of clashes and skirmishes. Now, given the context, the India-US defense cooperation is expected to deepen further, along with the overall bilateral partnership between the two nations.